Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, I am, okay, I'm better as a math teacher than a juggler, but hey, on the show today, we're going to be doing this gigantic problem right here. Has a bunch of zeros, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. Stay tuned. When we subtract, you got to start all the way over by the ones, all right? Got to subtract the ones first, then the tens, then the hundreds, and so on. We're dealing with just ones here, all right? Now, remember, when you're subtracting the ones here, you got to remember to have that number up on top a bigger number, all right? Got to have that a bigger number. And right away, I'm noticing that is a smaller number. So I need to borrow from next door, okay? Need to be that bigger. Need to make it bigger. All right, so I got to borrow one from the zero. Hey, Mr. Zero, hello, you got anything in there? Nothing, all right? So I go next door. Do you have anything I can borrow? Nothing. I go next door. This zero right here is asking this five, hey, can I borrow something? Sure. So I'm borrowing one from the five, and that is going to be a four. Now, this zero, remember, I borrowed the 10 from here, all right? So I'm putting the 10 right up here. I'm putting a line through there. Now I got something here, all right? I got, I got cookies in the cookie jar. This zero right here kind of would like some, all right? I need some, please. So can I borrow one from you? Sure. So I cross out the 10, I make that a nine, and now he's got 10. Put the line through there. Same thing with this zero right here. Hey, can I please borrow one? Sure. All right, so cross out the 10 here, make that a nine. This becomes a 10. All right, don't forget to put the line, throw the zero there, all righty. Now, the six wants to be big. Got to have that number up on top to be a bigger number than the bottom number. I got videos going through a lot of, of uh, double digit subtraction with regrouping. But I know that you are math ninja pros and you're probably just wondering how to do this. Need to borrow one from the 10. That becomes a nine. Now, I become 16. I am very powerful now. Now I am able to do subtraction. Yes, you are. 16 minus seven, what is it? Nine, all right, awesome. Nine minus two, what is it? Seven. Seven sent from heaven. Nine minus two, another seven. Nine minus two, another seven. Ho ho, we're getting so lucky. A lot of sevens here. Four minus two, uno, dos, one, two, two. And if you want to, you can put a little comma there after the third digit. This is how you do it. This is how you subtract when you got a bunch of zeros here. We just subtracted a five digit number and our answer is, 27,779, okay? Don't put and, don't say 27,000 and 779 because that and is sometimes represented as a decimal point. So get in the habit of just saying 27,779. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I have a lot of other cool math videos on here. I think you're gonna like. Make sure you check out my drawing show. I would love it if you would hit subscribe, hit the button. It, it's always moving around. Hit that button somewhere, all right? Hit subscribe. I would sure love it. And like always, have a fun day. Adios. Bye-bye.